Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into what is RAG. Now RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. It is a technique in natural language processing. That is nothing but NLP. Nowadays, you might have heard about the hype, Generative AI. RAG framework comes under it. It is now becoming one of the most popular tech stack. So, in this video, we'll be seeing what exactly it is. RAG framework combines elements of both retrieval-based and generation-based models. Now, here, we are talking about AI models. Here, RAG combines both the retrieval-based and generation-based models. Retrieval-based models are those AI models which is used for retrieving certain things. Retrieving means taking out the relevant information. And when we talk about generation-based models, it is about generating information or generating content. Now, this RAG, that is Retrieval Augmented Generation, combines elements of both these types of models. And that is why it is now becoming one of the most popular tech stack. Now, in general terms, Retrieval Augmented Generation leverages a pre-trained language model Pre-trained language model means the one which has already got trained on a particular amount of data. For example, GPT, that is Generative Pre-trained Transformer. GPT is very much popular. You might have heard about it. It is a pre-trained language model which is used for various tasks like text generation. Along with that, it comes with a retriever component. Typically, based on dense vector search algorithms like SAS, that is Facebook AI Similarity Search. Now, this phase allows the developers to quickly search for embeddings of multimedia documents that are similar to each other. Don't worry about all these terms. We'll be looking into this in the upcoming videos. But for now, just remember that this phase is nothing but based on dense vector search algorithm, which is used for retrieving documents or I would say information. Now, there can be another vector search algorithm based technique for example, Approximate Nearest Neighbor, ANN Search, to retrieve the relevant information from a large corpus or knowledge base. Now, when we talk about data, it is vast, it is humongous. To fetch particular amount of information which is relevant, or I would say which is very much significant to a particular query raised by the user, it becomes very much difficult to retrieve that particular relevant amount of information for a, from a very huge knowledge base. And for that, we use this retriever component, which is a part of RAG system. So now I hope you are getting an idea that the power of this retriever component as well as the pre-trained large language model together forms RAG systems. And it becomes very much powerful to tackle different use cases in real-world scenarios. So I hope an overview of RAG is clear to you all. Now we'll move on to the general workflow of RAG. Here in this general workflow, we'll be looking into every single component of RAG, that is retriever, augmentation, and generation. Let's start with retrieval. The retriever part of RAG finds useful information from a big collection of text, or I would say knowledge base, by looking for words or ideas similar to what you asked about. Now suppose a user raises a query. Now the relevant information that is related to that particular query is present somewhere inside a huge knowledge base. So, for fetching that particular relevant small amount of information from a huge knowledge base, we will require retriever. So, retrieval find, so retriever part of RAG finds useful information from a big collection of text. Now, this can be done with the help of various vector search algorithms, which is a similarity search algorithm, through which we can find out the relevant information. Now, the retrieval part does this. Do you want to check out this attractive funny memes? Then what are you waiting for? These are just a glimpse of the memes that I've created on my Instagram page. You can find the link to my Instagram handle in the description box. Please visit the link and do watch all these interesting funny memes. These are not just memes. These memes and reels contain technical information. Here, I try to relate memes with the technological concepts. So, 
please do appreciate that by watching all those and if you love it please hit the follow button now talking about the next part that is augmentation in rag the retrieved once we get the retrieved documents or passages they are then used to augment the input to the language model so basically this retrieved documents will be acting as an input to the large language model now not only this particular retrieved documents will be going as an input to the large language model it may take other forms of text for example prompt which we call it as instruction what exactly has to be done with this retrieved documents how the answer has to be presented in front of the user how to format that particular answer and how to provide precise and accurate response to the user query this is all formatted as an input in the augmentation process this augmentation can take various forms for example we can simply concatenate the retrieved documents and the system instructions or prompt and we can simply fed it into the large language model as an input or we can have any other ways through which we can provide the input to the large language model so i hope the augmentation process is clear here we will simply concatenate the instructions with the retrieved documents or chunks that are relevant to the user query and we'll feed it as an input to the large language model now comes the third part that is generation now once the augmented input is fed into the large language model the large language model will generate a response based on the combined information from the input prompt and the retrieved documents now how it generates the information because large language model is already trained on a huge amount of data so it is capable of understanding natural language it understands the meaning of the language it understands how to communicate and tackle dynamic scenarios and that is why it is able to generate a response out of it the generated response is expected to be coherent contextually relevant and informative now the way the answer will be generated out of the large language model depends on the set of instructions that we provide in the augmentation process so we'll look into all this in detail in the upcoming videos for now i hope the general workflow of rag is clear to you all it comprises of three stages retrieval augmentation and generation i hope all these three stages are clear to you all now we'll look into the benefits of rag the first benefit of rag is timely accuracy rag ensures response are current by using real time data alongside static training now if we use direct large language models it may not provide you real time information because large language models are pre trained on static data the data might not be updated it might not be of the current status but here in case of rag we are providing the real time data and that is why it ensures responses are current and accurate responses are current and updated the second benefit of rag is reduced error and hallucinations by grounding outputs in external knowledge rag minimizes the risk of getting inaccurate information now this is done with the help of instructions that we provide at the augmentation stage this will help us reduce error as well as hallucinations hallucination is a problem which is addressed in large language models basically they they sometimes create information which is fake which does not exist and the usage of rag might reduce this hallucination to a great extent the third benefit of rag is tailored domain relevance rag customizes responses to specific domains leveraging proprietary data for contextually relevant answer basically it helps us to create domain specific models which will answer accurately to the queries that are related to a specific domain so this can be used in multiple areas sectors nowadays because if things are domain specific they will always be contextually relevant the fourth benefit of rag is efficiency rag streamlines customization without extensive model adjustment making it cost effective for frequent updates in retrieval augmented generation we use pre trained models here we do not update the weights or biases in the existing model rather we only provide set of instructions as well as here we establish 
द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रिट्रीवल सो दिस मेक्स इट कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव फॉर फ्रीक्वेंट अपडेट्स सो आई होप द बेनिफिट ऑफ रैग इज क्लियर टू यू ऑल I'm sure you might have got an idea of what exactly RAG is and how it works. In the upcoming videos, we'll be moving in depth of this RAG, so stay tuned for that. If you guys have any single doubt or if you guys have any suggestions, then please put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to solve it. For more such videos, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Please join me on Telegram. Thanks for watching. Have a good day ahead.